welcome to Echo Catcher Tarot. Thank you for all the support on the channel. I appreciate it so very much. So this is going to be a cusper reading for Aquarius Pisces. And the element for cuspers for Aquarius Pisces is sensitivity. So they have different elements when they're the cusper signs. And the cuspers are people who have their birthdays when the sign changes within a three-day grace period. So this is air sign and water sign. So you have sensitivity, emotions. So please remember there's no way it can connect to everybody. I'm putting the oracle cards here which are all for you. The tarot cards over here which will be the energies around you. You will show up over here too. So I read the cards and you decide how they apply to you and if they do. So the first one for you is the Oracle of E, the Dude Abides. So whatever you're doing right now is the universe is trying to support you. I see the east, west, north, south in here for me. And the universe is supporting you. We have the number two, so I don't know if this involves another person. The next one is Loud and Clear 45. So this is an upright masculine triangle, which means it's more of an aggressive energy that you have. I feel like loud and clear is saying you're where you're supposed to be. What you're doing right now is what you're supposed to be doing. And the next one is right side up number one. So whatever you're doing you're going to be on top of it. I feel like this the blue is the throat chakra something to do with your talking, your voice. And loud and clear makes me think of it too now that I think about it from that commercial for the phone people. Uh, do you hear me now? So I do feel like something with your throat, you're being kind of aggressive, and the universe is supporting you. So let's move on to the Mystical Cats Tarot deck and see what that says. So the elements are on my community page of my YouTube channel to say the elements of what the cusper signs mean. Because I feel like we all come down here and go through the whole zodiac wheel in every life. And then maybe some people come back as cuspers. So the first one you have is Eight of Sky. So Eight of Sky is telling me somebody, if not you, feels stuck in some sort of situation. You feel like you can't get out of it or somebody else does. And this is saying the cat can get out. That if he calms down and quits thrashing, he'll be able to get out. I feel like you see worse stuff coming towards you. This could have to do with family because of the tree branches. So, Ten of Fire is chaos. Chaos and drama. I feel like it involves four other people who are watching how you react to this chaos and drama. So, the moon. The moon represents Pisces. So, this talks about something that wasn't known to you coming to be known. What was in the dark is coming into the light. It could be something strong around the moon. I, Excuse me, I always suggest all my viewers to have a dream journal. So when they wake up at night, write down the time and the first, at least one word out of your head, what thought is in your head, and go back to sleep and do it every time you wake up and in the morning, and then you can make sense of it in later in the day or later in the week. And then a dream journal or a moon journal uh, tells you how you handle the moons. If you do it for a year, two years would be best to verify how you handle the moons, but some moons do affect people. So consequences. There's some sort of consequences for something that was hidden. Something, it could be emotions that weren't dealt with, it could be something that went on too long, and now it's coming out to be dealt with and there's consequences for it. So Fire Queen tells me somebody's going to be very angry. There is somebody that is going to be, like you see the fireworks in back of her. Somebody is going to be very angry at what's going on. So the Chariot talks about a couple things. This could be information coming into you. This could be somebody coming towards you. This could be you moving, going in a new direction, travel. It could even mean victory and success in some way because the cat is kind of lit up and the sun is behind it. And it's going over the drama. So I do feel like you are going to have draw success over that drama. So two of Earth says you have strength and balance right now. Very good. Those are two good qualities and they're going over the secret. So whenever something is exposed, you are going to be strong and balanced when that comes out. 
So Sky Kitten. Sky Kitten is going to go over the consequences card which tells me somebody was very immature. So this consequences could be because somebody did something that was very immature, childlike. So Three of Earth is somebody looking to the universe asking why things are happening the way they are. You're talking to the universe asking why and they hear you. So Four of Earth is somebody who's very selfish, somebody who takes from other people. They take things that they don't even use themselves, if that makes sense. That could be anything. But somebody takes stuff from other people and puts it away and they, they just sit there. Very selfish person. So Ten of C is going towards a place or people that make you feel happy, that you can be comfortable in. You see the moon up there. This could be travel again. And I see it could be family or friends traveling to the ocean. So maybe someone's going to be selfish in some way about, whoa, about you traveling, if that makes sense, is what I'm kind of getting. Wouldn't you know it? Now I can't get them straight. I try not to mess with anything once I do it. Okay, so the next one is Nine of Sky. So somebody is very stressed out. They can't sleep. A lot of stress, a lot of overthinking. So Ace of Earth is a warning. Some kind of warning with family or friends. I feel like family or friends are giving you an illusion. Something is not going to go the way somebody is saying it is. Or you're worried it's not going to go the way it is. So the world, this is beautiful. This is you looking to the future and going towards your happiness in your sun. And things are going to change. So you're going towards your happiness is what this card represents. Something is going to change. And it's going to be for your highest good. So now I'm going to switch to the mystic or the mystical, the tarot illuminati. And I do shuffle all the decks before I turn the camera on. I just give them one more shuffle and cut them after the camera's on. So the first one is the devil. This is Capricorn placement. If you have Capricorn around you or in your birth chart, this could be you. But if not, this is toxic energy. This could be addictions. This could be people holding you down some, somehow, not wanting you to change. King of Swords is somebody being very honest, very communicative. I do feel like the throat's coming out here again. A lot of passion and I feel like somebody, the infinity signal, sim, signia, somebody is communicating honesty and desires and where they want their life to go. It could be like your life, passion or something. So the hanged man. The hanged man is a delay. It's when things are not supposed to happen when you want them to. They happen when the universe wants them to. So be aware of that. If there's some sort of delay, it's meant to happen. I know that's hard to deal with. So Eight of Pentacles says you're working a lot. You're putting a lot of time into work or the delay could mean you're not working and you're getting anxious because you're not working. It could mean over here that you've got addictions because um, of not working but you're trying to be honest and deal with it is also what I'm kind of picking up. So Nine of Wands is defending yourself, being a very warrior stance, so to speak, not letting anyone mess with whatever you have going on. You're very protective over something. Justice. This is good. So this is balance. This is something balancing out. The good and the bad are going to balance. The light and the dark. Something is going to balance. The chariot again. You've had the chariot twice. So something is really either coming for you, like something good is coming for you, you're traveling, it could be a car, some communication, I mean, there's a lot going on here. So you've had two, I feel like you're in control of something. You're in control of your destiny and you're being very aggressive, I feel, towards where you want to go. So after the justice comes in, you're going to have a victory and a success over something. So Prince of Pentacles is somebody coming in to offer you something. Somebody's coming in to offer you a job, offer you part of a business. Somebody's coming in to offer you something. So now I'm going to switch to the Soul's Journey, le Soul's Journey Lessons. I don't know why I'm having trouble speaking today. 
So the first one is honesty. I can't always expect the truth from others, but I can expect it from myself. So this tells me you're healing from some sort of dishonest situation because the purple is really dark. So something was really dark for you, I feel, and you're healing from it, from somebody's dishonesty. The next one is perseverance. I know that I can do whatever I set my mind to. Again, you're healing. I see the heart chakra in here and you're fighting forward. You're like, I can do this. I can do this. I can go where I want to go. So it's going in front of the loud and clear. And the honesty is in front of the universe supporting you. And the next one is worry. I am learning that worry doesn't change an outcome. And it's going towards right side up. So these are all purple. Do you see that? They're kind of different colors of purple too. Darker, lighter, and medium. So releasing worry is really good because it just spirals out of control if you don't release it. And this card behind it says right side up. So you're going to be able to be honest, persevere, and leave that um, worry behind you, I feel. So now I'm going to switch to the Whispers of the Ocean for you. And the first one is the Gift of Neutrality. 34. Balance is at work in your life. Yin and yang are opposites in energy, but reside side by side to create the gift of neutrality. You've had the um, balance card twice. So this talks about the Nautilus can flow. It can stay afloat. It can make itself not sink to the bottom, and it can make itself not rise to the top. And it can deflect negative energy. And they can move pretty fast. I've seen videos on them. And they're just moving pretty fast. So I feel like you have a, a yin and yang gift where the something's going to balance out for you for your benefit. It's, that's a really good card. Disengage from Outcomes 48. Let go so you can open yourself to the highest love that you deserve. Find ways to release worry or any unresolved lack of forgiveness you might be holding on to. And you have worry here and perseverance and honesty. So this is the Orca Whale that talks about people around you are either not going to like what you're doing or they're going to try and thwart what you're doing or they're going to tell you you can't do it. Something of that sort. And this card just basically means like a suggestion would be when you go in the grocery store and somebody is really rude to you, don't carry that rudeness that they put on you out of the store. Don't get in your car with that rudeness. Don't make it stick to you. Brush it off right there. Just... Tell yourself, um, like invisibly, take your brain and brush that. Whatever people put on you that doesn't connect with you and is negative and hurtful to you, disengage from it. Leave it alone. And this card right here says you can disengage from negative energy. So these two cards are so strong supporting you. Release the worry. Everything's going to be fine. I know it might not seem like it. Persevere in what you're going towards. Release the worry. You have two beautiful cards. This is like, look at the light right there and the light right there. You have a lot of light in you, and people probably are trying to thwart that. They don't like it. People who don't have light and strong energies to move towards happiness and what they want in life, try to knock other people down, so to speak. So keep going. Do not give up. So now I'm switching to the angel and ancestors, and you have warrior. Be fearless and stand strong. You had the strength card. You had the balance like three times. Well, I guess you had strength and balance, balance, and then this. So you're doing whatever it's meant for you to be doing. And I know a warrior stance is not good. You also had that card over here. and But it's here it is right here, the Nine of Wands. But you are doing this for a reason. The outcome is going to be for your highest good. So it says to keep doing what you're doing. I see a lot of detail in there. Um... Just focus. Be fearless and stand strong. You have, you can fight against a negative energy. I know you may not feel like it, but this says otherwise. This says you can. And the last one for you is Animal Guardian. Trust your instincts. So all animals have instincts. You watch them. They can't talk. Some of them can't hear. They can't communicate, but they have instincts. You have it just as well. And you need to listen to your instincts. The owl up here is wisdom. This could be past life wisdom. You have wisdom. You have the angel wings and the baby deer. Um, you have the jaguar here right up. Is that a jaguar? Yeah. And you have the crow, the raven, which are messengers. 
So, and the antlers, you have the antlers which is protected. So you are so protected, feel strong, be fearless because you are protected and listen to your instincts. This was a really good reading, it really was. So thank you so much for coming to Echo Catcher Tarot. Bless you.